Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Shout out to Crypto Daily for making that badass intro. Something I am definitely not capable of doing. So, looking at the market, market cap is at 158, almost 159. Just keeps creeping up there. We're going to be at 200 before you know it. This is just going to keep on um, ballooning up. Um, Bitcoin, the, the kind of odd thing is Bitcoin is stable at around 43. It has, you know, this thing could be 6,000 right now. We can have $6,000 Bitcoin really easily with this market cap. And the odd thing is um, it's staying around where it is, but yet the market cap just keeps ballooning up because it was at this price. Remember, guys, remember when 150 was the goal? I told you guys that 150 was right around the corner. It's when we're about 120. Um, now I'm saying it's going to be 200 right around the corner, but what's happening is um, Goldman Sachs prediction. Um, what's happening basically is a lot of the altcoins. So this is kind of the curse of what's happening. Okay, let me break it down. Why is the market cap going up, but yet Bitcoin and some of the top coins like Ethereum are staying? Because keep in mind, Ethereum has been this price all the way through. There has been billions and billions and billions of dollars flooding into the market. And Ethereum has not really been affected by it. And I've been getting asked questions, you know, why isn't Bitcoin booming? Like the market cap's booming and it's not, you know, normally, right? The, if the market cap goes up, Bitcoin goes up. That's how it always is, right? It's like they're attached at the hip. If you remember during that dip um, when we had 60 billion, um, that, that was one of my biggest come ups, you know, during that time with that crash. I mean, I, I invested, I went all in on that crash and invested in everything. And, and since then, everything has four or five to 10 X everything. So, um, but basically you saw the, the price of Bitcoin when the, when the market went down, Bitcoin went down and it went all the way down to 18. Um, when the market cap was like 60 billion and, um, you know, as it rose, Bitcoin rose, but that's not the case right now. It's not the case because we have gained a solid eight to $9 billion and Bitcoin has not jumped past that. You know, it hasn't jumped to 5,000 yet, even though the market cap keeps raising. So people are like, what's happening? All right. So this is going to be, this is going to hurt a few people, but basically what's happening is the more coins that are introduced into the ecosystem. That is like inflation of the market cap because there's only so much money that can go around. And if there's more coins to invest in, they're going to leak the profits out of all of the others. Um, one of the good things and one of the bad things is with the Bitcoin situation. Um, um, I heard interesting arguments. People are saying like basically you know, Bitcoin lost a lot of the shares because of what happened. And um, a lot of the technology that's built on a lot of these other platforms could have been built the top on Bitcoin and Bitcoin been seeing all that. So basically Bitcoin, if you look at the crypto world, the Bitcoin's almost like the dollar, basically. Um, it has a lot of love and a lot of hate. Like basically it's very polarizing. It's only value is basically from money standpoint, which is the most obviously the most important job to, um, job, but Ethereum is different, right? Ethereum has a million, you know, so many different platforms built on top of it. Um, you know, it has way different use cases. So Bitcoin is just has that money aspect, but if it was to, you know, be replaced in that aspect, then it wouldn't really have much to fall back on as where Ethereum, you already have such an ecosystem going, you know, you really, and there's a lots and lots of big updates on Ethereum up the way. I mean, it's a crazy how many people, there's a lot of smart people that hate Bitcoin, and there's a lot of smart people that love Bitcoin. There's a lot of smart people that hate Ethereum. A lot of smart people that um, love Ethereum. The arguments are Ethereum is basically fucked up under the hood security-wise. I've heard this a lot. I've also heard the counter argument where they're saying basically it's not what they're saying. Like they're, it's kind of being blown out of proportion. And the fact is um, they're, it's pretty much an update needs to happen. And one side is saying that it's kind of like giving an update with a car moving like you know changing the engine out of a moving car um <laughs> while not impossible definitely not ideal and basically the other side is saying it can get done with way less so it's like i said man this ethereum would be five thousand dollars right now if there was no like if everyone knew the path if everyone knew like oh ethereum is going to be 100 percent it's 100% home run. If you didn't have doubters, then all of this would already be at the finish line. It would already be at its full price. But that's what happens. Um, the risk and reward. People who 
will, you know, be willing to place a bet. You know, it's kind of like uh, the McGregor Mayweather fight. Yeah, he got five to one. Everyone expected Mayweather win, but they had to fight, right? You have to fight, and then everyone has a puncher's chance. Um, I'm not saying that's like Bitcoin or Ethereum. I think we are the ones with the five to one odds. Um, I believe. I just, I mean, it's just hard to bet against the best developers in the world at Bitcoin. Um, you can scream censorship all you want. Um, I much rather have to face censorship issues from a um, a pool of coders, right, than censorship from a country like China, where if um, they got, the blocks got too big, it would be incredibly expensive to run full nodes thus making it centralized that's what would happen with bitcoin cash if um they kept increasing the block sizes bigger and bigger um it just falls right into the chinese that, that's what it is man like at the end of the day there's two arguments yeah you can fucking say bitcoin censorship that sucks i'm not saying i'm not pro i'm not saying it's not happening they probably are a lot of them are douchebags but they're smart douchebags and the point is i don't have to trust bitcoin core team because they can be replaced they're much easier to manage right because people can really sway they're people they're not a fucking communist country it's a little bit different. That's all I'm saying, man. Like, what's the argument there? Like, you can't say it's not going to become centralized. Like, that's, that's a risk because now you have to trust the miners. And I don't trust miners. I don't care. They say, well, the miners won't want to hurt their product. And it's like, dude, the miners now might not. But, dude, what if somebody who has bad intentions for Bitcoin comes in with billions and billions and billions of dollars? I don't know. Maybe a government agency. Right? What if they took over and paid the miners more money than they would get from Bitcoin? Hmm, ever thought of that shit? What if that happened and then they crashed Bitcoin and did something stupid and took it down? That could happen. That You can't do that with Bitcoin right now, with the Bitcoin. But in Bitcoin Cash, that, that's a possibility. What about that Game of Thrones episode? What did, what did that motherfucker say right before? Hey, spoiler alert, spoiler alert. Game of Thrones, spoiler alert last night. Fucking fast forward a minute if you don't want to hear it. Give you a second. I know that shit's important. All right, little finger. Right before that motherfucker got his throat cut, what did that? What did it? What did that fucking so gangster? It's like ask yourself, what is the worst intentions? Like, what is the worst intentions? What is the worst case scenario? Um, Bitcoin Cash splits from Bitcoin Fork to steal hashing power and security and cause uncertainty in the Bitcoin world. Why is this? Because the fiat world, the fiat world is the only one that would benefit from this. Government agencies are the only ones that would benefit from this. Okay. So if I was the government agency and I did want this to happen to Bitcoin Cash, what would I do? I would create a lot of FUD. I would create a lot of videos. I'd, 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 I'd create a large pump with billions of dollars to make it seem like Bitcoin Cash is going to be a great investment down the road. Yes. And then I would make it seem like the miner pools were centralized or decentralized yes very fair and then when everyone comes to bitcoin cash because they think bitcoin core people are a bunch of evil demons wanting to destroy bitcoin from the inside yes once we have them into bitcoin cash and everyone flocks over we come in with trillions of dollars and buy the miners and crash bitcoin into oblivion <laughs> Hmm, that's a possibility. Um, ask yourself, what is the worst case situation that come out of this and who benefits the most? The one that you would never expect. Even Roger said he had nothing to do with it. No one really truly knows. The minor pools know. And we don't know what the minor pools know. We don't know what's happening behind the scenes, guys. You no know one knows what's happening behind the scenes. No one really fucking knows. And if you think you do, you're fucking ignorant. So that's why I think the attack on Bitcoin is happening. I'm not saying that's what I'm thinking. I'm saying ask your fucking questions. Moving on. Um, well, let's give the world. Okay, so basically, we... We have a lot of these countries, Estonia, all of these places are trying to make their own coin and they're going to basically brand it as saying, hey, guess what? This is a nation building coin. This coin is going to help your country. You're going to be a patriot. And if you don't do it, then you're fucking not a patriot. That's basically what's going to happen to a lot of these coins. 
And that's bad. Don't listen to that shit because guess what? They could tax Bitcoin and, and, and that could be that, right? They can make their money off of Bitcoin uh, or any other cryptocurrencies because we don't want a centralized currency because we understand that giving wealth to the government never works out. They always misuse it. They always abuse it. Always. It's been, uh, we don't need to run another test trial on that. It's happened over and over and over again. We don't need the nations to have the money anymore. We need the people to have the money. Give the wealth to the people. That's who needs to have it. That's who knows who needs to do it. That's Those are the people who can build businesses and make quality things. But when you suck the money away from the people, then the home businesses be collapse and then the corporations move in. Um, the money needs to be with the people, not the fucking countries. I don't want a USA coin. I don't want a China coin. I don't want a Russia coin. You can take that shit and shove it up your government asses. Nobody wants that shit. Tired of your centralization. We understand that you love power. We understand you love control. Who the fuck doesn't, right? Who doesn't? But too damn bad because it's too late now. Like, it, I say it's too late. We're still in a big fight because we're. what's going to happen? I'm telling you right now what's going to happen. We're going to go into the future. Bitcoin is going to be like $25,000, $30,000. And we're going to understand the biggest attacks by the biggest governments. They're all going to try to bring Bitcoin down and promote their own safe, quote unquote, safe um, government issued cryptocurrencies. That's what's going to happen. Hands down. I mean, it's it, a fucking blind squirrel can find this nut. Think about it. You think they're going to, there's too much money in control and owning the currency. There's too much money in owning the currency. I mean, there just is. When you control it, they can change it anytime they want. They can say, okay, we want to add inflation now. Like no one has a say because it's owned by the government. And the government, I mean, dude, you don't get a vote. I'm tired of this shit. Like who really gets a vote? Dude, they pick, you know, yeah, people run. But dude, like, it's like, who's running? Like, I don't know, like. It just seems so fucked up every time. It's just like a pool of fuckers and you have to pick the best one of the fuckers, but you don't like any of them because nobody real, they run as a third party and they just get blasted by the media. I mean, any of the good third party candidates that want to run outside of the fucking bullshit red and blue, then you, yeah, they have no zero chance, absolutely no chance at all. They just get destroyed because they don't have the money. And uh, the people who have the money are the ones printing it because it's a video game. They print as much money. It's a cheat code. You need money. You need infinite health. Oh, here's a trillion dollars. Who bailed out the banks? We didn't say that. I guarantee you, if you put that to a vote for the people, everyone would have turned that shit down. Who the fuck would have gave all that money to the fucking banks? Our sucker asses, but whatever. Um, how did I see a coin finally? Fuck's sake, man. See a coin. Get your act together. No limit coin. Um, what's been happening is basically with the altcoins, um, it's a it's a wave cycle, if you want to see. I always like comparing Golem because Golem was one of the first coins I ever bought outside of Golos. And it's a real perfect indicative of what's happening, right? Because you got it right here. And now you're making way more BTC than you would have. Way more, B which is perfect. And now you're starting to see this. But that's because of all the craziness that's happening. But this is going to be like mountains, guys. Or it's going to form two titties. You're going to see two big boobs right here. You're going to see a big boob with a lot of coins. A lot of coins are going to catch back up. Because that's what happens. Um, if you think of it like, um, if you look at my mouse cursor, if you think of Bitcoin uh, and um, the altcoins are kind of tied with like this elastic string, right? So if Bitcoin goes, Oof, what's going to happen? The altcoins are going to stand still, move back and, Voom, and then hit. And then they're going to hit the back of Bitcoin because Bitcoin's the ceiling, causing them to drop back down. And then whatever Bitcoin does, these go. See, so it's that, that kind of effect. Um, that's why you see these crazy numbers out of nowhere in the course of like a month. And um, meanwhile, the whole year, they didn't do anything. Also, um, this is the time right now because this every you gotta keep in mind, man. There has to be a sense of urgency. Every single day matters now. Every single day, people keep saying, "Well, I don't have the money." It's like, dude, I didn't have the money. You can't. That's not a fucking excuse. You know what you do? You go out there and you create value. You reach out. You make things. You do whatever. Do whatever it takes. You get a part of the team. If you don't have money, it doesn't matter. You can. If can you write? Are you good at social media? Are you capable of learning? Are you hungry? Uh, I mean, you have to ask yourself, like, money's a small factor. Like, you can really um, roll up your sleeves. That's the thing. A lot of people don't want to put in the work. A lot of people want to make excuses. A lot of people want to say, well, I didn't have this and I didn't have that. But they have all these other things that they're just laying. That's like the true, um, you know, you're really, really hungry. 
when you, you, you're going after it. Like, think about it. If you were starving and there was an apple that was out of reach, you'd be surprised at how many different ways you would attempt to get that apple. And then eventually you'd find some fucking way. You would jerry rig something. You would do whatever it fucking took. You'd get that motherfucking apple. Excuse is I'm not tall enough. That's the immediate fucking excuse. That's like saying I don't have enough money. That's the basic excuse. I'm not tall enough. I can't reach it. So what? You just sit there and starve? Not nah, because that's the thing. You, you get you get enough in this life. That's what the government does. The government. That's a, a bullshit thing. In my world, you'd fucking starve. I don't give a fuck. You know why? Because then you would actually live. You wouldn't let yourself starve. A lot of people only get off their asses when the fire is burning it. That's it, right? Well, sometimes the fire has to be there. Sometimes you have to fucking take the training wheels off because a lot of people are dying way before they die. And that's the problem. They are able to live this mediocre life because they're able to live off the bottom feedings of the government and off of um, just basically able to get the crumbs and that's what they settle for and they just settle on the ground but if you vacuum up those motherfucking crumbs they're going to get hungry and they're going to come after it and that's when you have to get the corruption out of the government so these people actually have a chance to go after it right because a lot of people the apple and that's the thing man i'm not saying it's fair at all a lot of people are going to starve because hey man no matter fucking how creative you are you're just not going to get that fucking apple and that sucks and that happens and a lot of that is tyranny a lot of that is governments most of it that's what it is right because the whole world could have food um we didn't build these cement jungles we didn't say this this is fucking all happening for a reason if you don't see it um you, you, you i mean they're gonna come get you from a mile away there's a reason why there's so many goddamn cities there's a reason why there's no access to natural food it's to cage you in and control you um i'm just saying man i'm just saying how i fucking see it i don't give a fuck what anybody thinks um but basically it's just like you gotta act like you're going to starve if you don't get it, man. And you'd be surprised. Like, I didn't know how to write. I just wrote a book. You know, I ha I've already written a book. And so I, I have to publish it. Like, there's a uh, there's a lot of things that, you know, I definitely wasn't good at, like, com I, I was always in my thoughts when I try to speak. So it's like, there's a lot of things you can get over when you just, like, going for that fucking apple it's like man i'm gonna starve to death if i don't so it's just like man treat it like that man money is one thing but you know go find your ass a ladder go jerry rig some twigs together take your shoe off make it like a fucking slingshot whatever you gotta do um don't don't let you know because that's the thing man everyone will feel sorry for you um everyone will give you and say man yeah um you know i understand you know that's that sucks but that's all you get you don't get anything else. You just get pity. You get sympathy. And at the end of the day, you don't get what you want. So, I mean, it's just about fighting. It's all it is. Like, get out there. Get on Twitter. Get in your coin slack. See what you can do. If you got skills, make it work, man. I mean, if you can make custom banners at home, hey, man, like, ask if you could do something locally for some coin. Like, um, don't even ask for coins. That's the thing. I take that back. Don't ever ask for anything. Say, hey, man, I'm going to come in here. I'm going to make some banners free, right? And then they're going to give you coin. Unless I will. Anyone knows me. If you did that for me, you're getting hooked up. I mean, I, I hook up people left and right. I gave somebody, what, $150, $200 with the No Limit coin for subscribing to the YouTube channel the other day. Um, just to give people opportunities. I understand, like, it's just about Johnny on the spot. And it, it's real easy to be Johnny on the spot if you show up to the spot consistently. It's real easy to be Johnny on the spot if you show up to the spot consistently. Uh, stop worrying about when Johnny's coming. Just show up to the fucking spot. And that's all you need to know. It's going to happen or it's not, though. Um, the, the, the milk is, is going to spill or you're going to get some. Man. You don't worry about the unknowable. You know, you prepare for the unpreparable. Um my bit is coming out the interview um the live q a at 11 a.m giving away uh 100 free my bits to the best answer plus i'm going to be sprinkling my bits around nikolai xp is going to be doing his debut for the live q a i want to give him some face time um he's he's a you know he's a, he's a pro at this stuff and um the community already loves him so you know for all the xp lovers out there you're going to get to see xp 11 a.m i'm going to be moderating the chat um, giving out free my bits. That's what I like doing best. Giving out, giving out coins. Um, my bit. 
and that's the thing, man. I, I'm going to end it real on this quick note, but um, basically with investments, I only invest in things right now that I there's there's a lot of scam ICOs, um, quote unquote pump and dump shit, like all the like there's a lot of shit going on right now. I'm not in there, there's way too many goddamn coins out there to focus on. It's kind of like being in a money that thing where all the money's flying up and you're in that like box, that clear box, and you're trying to grab all the money. Well, if you're focusing on the money you're not getting, you're not gonna get any, right? You're gonna miss a shit ton of money. And like it's just gonna happen. No matter what, you're gonna miss a lot of money. Everyone says that, and it's true. You're gonna miss a lot of money. So don't focus on it. Only focus on the bits of money you're gonna get and just fucking focus on getting more and more and more. Don't worry about the shit flying around your side because you're gonna be like, oh, 10x, 20x, 15x, oh my god. No, no, no. Focus on what you got. Um, you know, I get on things I know 100% are pump and dump scams, 100%, first of all. Then I can work with you. Then I, I work with people I can work with, people I trust. And then I um, go for the undervalue, obviously, because you don't wanna go and get the most popular ICOs because. Um, you know, the, the most popular coins, it doesn't make any sense. They're not going to have as much growth potential. Um, and I just like doing that research. Plus, I love the challenge. That's why I like my bit because I like being on the inside, like No Limit Coin. I love being on the inside because I know things before people, because I'm putting into work. I'm part of the team. I understand what's about to happen. A lot of people look at a coin and they don't see it. It's like I have x-ray vision with my coins. I can see what's about to happen with my bit next month. I can see this, that, and this, right? And I can see all of these things that people don't see. Um, and then people wonder why it's like man why was dan buying all that no limit coin up why was he doing that and then it just keeps going up and then they're like oh well that's why and then they're like well why is dan getting all this my bit what's this my bit about and then you know it's gonna be like 25 bucks and people are like oh that's why um it's just because I, I it's like i don't go spill the beans like i i just know a lot of shit if you see me investing heavily or talking about something that i'm a part of it's probably because i know something you don't and that's just basically what it is. Like, I don't know. Um, you know, you could think I'm an idiot, but um, it's probably because, you know, if you're seeing something like, well, why is he investing in that? I just don't get it. It's probably because I know something you don't. And um, basically, I had a point I was going to get across, but basically I covered what I basically want to cover. Um, centralized currencies, going, getting, making opportunities. Um Bunch of other cool shit, I bet. All right, I'm going to kill it here. Cheers. Peace.